Hey everyone, Tech no here with a video for you guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your notification not working in iOS 26, especially if you did the recent update. So you want to follow this quick step. First thing you're going to do is go into your setting and then you're going to go ahead and check notification. And for any apps you're not getting notification, you want to make sure they're turned on. So example, if I want notification from App Store, I'm going to make sure it's allowed in case it got turned off. And then you're going to make sure the notification for lock screen, notification center, banner are turned on, a couple of these settings as well. So you're going to go through the list to make sure it didn't get accidentally turned off. Now, as well as that, you also want to make sure that it is selected to turn on notification here. And if you want to see the previews and such, you're going to match up this. So that's going to be the first thing to check out the app setting. The next thing, thing to do is this method here. I'm going to show you. You're going to quickly press and release volume up volume down and then hold down the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So in this sequence, I'm going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then I hold down the side button and you're going to keep on holding until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. As you can see here, I'm still holding down, waiting for that screen to go black and then once the Apple logo appears, I'll let go of that side button. This is known as a force restart, which basically shuts down the phone software completely and allows it to restart again by reloading the code. So when you do a major software update, sometimes it could be messed up internally in terms of the code. It'll go ahead and fix that. This method will not delete any of your data and you might need to do it a few times to get notifications to be working. So again, do it again, volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button. Again, this process does work. Sometimes, like I said, it takes a couple tries. And after that, you should see notifications popping up and working again. As you can see here, I'm doing it one more time just to demonstrate it to you. And if it's your very first time doing this method, it takes a few tries to get the hang of it. So it doesn't hurt to keep on trying. And after that, it should be fixed. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.